to Wallaton Hills Nature Park, a wondrous natural area in the heart of Beaverton, Oregon, on the ancestral homelands of the Kalapuya people, who have stewarded this land for generations. This park is enjoyed by over 200,000 citizens every year. This park is a huge treasure in a busy urban area. So many people come here for different reasons. It's just a chance to free themselves of their daily stress and reconnect with the natural world. Within the five miles of trails, you can be going through all different types of habitats within a short period of time. When you walk into the cedar grove, you feel like you're in a sacred space, an old cathedral. I just wish the trees could tell me their stories. Deep within the fiber of these trees are names of people who fought to preserve this special land we enjoy today. I used to work across the street. I looked out my window and thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to have this land preserved as a natural area where the deer can browse? Barbara Wilson was dreaming about a forest known as St. Mary's Woods. In the early 70s, land in Washington County was being developed at unprecedented levels. I ran for the board with the idea that the park district was too heavily focused on active recreation, tennis courts and ballparks, and I wanted to bring another voice to the board. Barbara was determined to preserve this unused piece of land on the west side of Beaverton. My short-term goal was to buy the land before it's too late. You can't go back and get land after the development has gone in. Barbara formed a grassroots citizens group called the St. Mary's Woods State Park Committee Incorporated. Barbara and others had identified that Washington County had no state park of any significance. The Nature Conservancy documented that this site was, in fact, a very unique place because it produced so many different habitats that you really rarely find anywhere. Once I saw the property, then I was sold. Then I was all in for the project. In 1974, when voters passed a $10 million park district bond measure, many community groups advocated for investing in land acquisition and aquatics, recreation, and senior amenities. The park District was, of course, interested in a, in a regional park because they didn't have any. They basically had a series of local parks. Not enough funds were available for a regional park. I was uh, concerned about the bond issue that the Park District just passed. I felt that it was important at that time in Washington County to be purchasing some land. There was still land available. I get quite emotional over this, even after 50 years. I have deep regrets that we didn't get 450 acres. <laughs> but the committee didn't give up. They found another way. Their new mission, drum up more support. I would come over here just about every day and take pictures of all the birds and bugs and critters and flowers. And we would take that slide show around wherever we could generate an audience. We gave an explanation of, of what we were about and why it was important and what needed to be done. With intense lobbying, the committee got the state of Oregon to agree to help fund the park. Then, in 1979, the state park's budget was slashed, all but ending the hopes for this land. That was pretty discouraging because we thought we had it in the bag. Running out of options, in 1980, the committee pled with the Parks and Recreation District for a bond measure exclusively to purchase the land. By golly, it passed. It passed. It passed. And it gave us the money. The Tualatin Hills Park and Recreation District finally acquired 180 acres from the Archdiocese of Portland, and the dream of preserving a natural area blossomed. As a botanist, it was hugely rewarding to see that, that this land did not slip away, which would have, I think, been devastating. This park represents the culmination of hours and hours of work it was really a hard battle. We could have given up on many days. This is one of the milestones in my life. This is a good one. 
The next step was creating a master plan for the nature park's future. So now we have the property, how are we going to configure this? 17 long years passed between purchasing the land and opening the Tualatin Hills Nature Park on Earth Day in 1998. When the park finally opened, I was really exhilarated. I'm proud of the people in this community that voted for and are supporting a large piece of land that is left natural for everybody to enjoy. My students and I worked in the nature park uh, building some of the initial trails. Because of those citizens' vision, 50 years ago. We have 220 acres here that we can hear the birds, we can watch the deer, we can see the beaver activity. One of the best experiences, I came over here and went for a walk and there was a classroom full of probably kindergartners. Wait, wait, I see it. That's when I knew we did a good thing. The power of nature really is to inspire to be able to see the wonder of nature and realize that you ultimately are a part of it. And that this process is a legacy of my life, my family's life. I, I'm really glad that it's here for everyone. It's free. Come on out.